So we talked about the Don't Say Gay Bill a couple of weeks ago on my program, but um, I wasn't necessarily sure if Ron DeSantis would uh, endorse it. Uh, I had a feeling that he would in the event it made it to his desk. And um, yeah, he's basically tacitly suggesting that it is uh, good. He's signaling support for it. Um, so this is from NBC News. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis voiced his support for a bill that would prohibit the discussion of sexual orientation and gender identity in the state's primary schools. So just pause for a moment right there. We're one sentence in. Can anyone think of the number of ways that this can go horribly wrong? If you are a teacher and you accidentally happen to bring up your partner who's a same-sex partner, does that qualify here? If a student on their own accord brings up that they have same-sex parents and then the teacher responds to that and acknowledges it in any way shape or form are they gonna be uh you know violating this law this can go wrong in a billion different ways that's just the more um unforeseen consequences of this bill the immediate consequence of a bill like this is that it's harmful to lgbtq plus youth because if you are um not able to access information or education with respect to lgbtq plus issues the suicide rate is higher for you if you're younger i mean young lgbtq plus people are incredibly vulnerable so this will kill lgbtq plus kids if this is passed and that's not hyperbole but they don't care they don't care at all asked by reporters at a miami event monday he said it was entirely inappropriate for teachers to be having conversations with students about gender identity citing instances of them telling children don't worry don't pick your gender yet and also hiding classroom lessons from parents Schools need to be teaching kids to read, to write, DeSantis said. They need to teach them science, history. Do they, though? Because you'll complain about that, too. If you teach them science, uh, that's bad. If you teach them history, then you're going to say that that's critical race theory. So are you sure about that, Ron DeSantis? Is there anything that's acceptable for you? Uh, we need more civics and understanding of the U.S. Constitution, what makes our country unique. All those basic stuff. Yeah, maybe we should be teaching fucking grammar, too, Ron. The larger issue with all of this is parents must have a seat at the table when it comes to what's going on in their schools, he added. Although DeSantis stopped short of commitment to sign the bill into law, it was the first time the Republican governor signaled his support for the measure since it was proposed by the state's House of Representatives last month. Echoing DeSantis, uh, proponents of the Parental Rights and Education Bill, dubbed by critics as the Don't Say Gay Bill, argued that discussions about LGBTQ issues are not age-appropriate for students. So I just, what is the expectations of these people? Do they think that, um, you know, your kid's going to get to third grade and they're going to teach them how to be gay? Is that literally what, what they think is happening here? Um, you know, it, do they believe that if we just hide the existence of trans identities and gay people away from children that they just won't be gay or trans because it doesn't work that way but i think that they think it works that way i think that they still are you know under the ignorant assumption that you can choose to be gay or trans when that's not something that you, you choose and if you could choose it who would want to choose to be a marginalized minority in the united states of america especially in a red state like florida where they fucking hate you who would choose that so, I mean, this is extremely stupid. It's policy that is deadly. But the reason why the GOP continues to use LGBTQ plus kids as political footballs is because they don't have anything else to offer, right? They can't deliver when it comes to, you know, the economy for working class people. So they say, well, look, people in America still hate gays and trans people. So, you know, let's just fucking uh, fuck over the kids under the guise of protecting children, LOL. And then that will be, you know, us giving red meat to the base. It's it's truly sickening. It's gross. Um, now, uh, Biden's administration had apparently uh, seen that DeSantis signals support, and so Biden is saying that he's gonna he's gonna fight this. How are you gonna fight this, Biden? What are you gonna do? I, I mean, uh, are you are you gonna get Mansion and Cinema's permission? To pass a bill, you're going to get rid of the filibuster. What are you going to do? You're not going to do jack shit. We've been seeing laws across the country where they're banning trans children from school sports. They are banning or trying to ban gender affirming care for trans youth. And what have you done? So what are you? What's different about this? What are you going to do? You're not going to do anything because Democrats, they're never going to fight. You know, this is a free speech issue, right? 
if you can't even um, utter the words gay or trans in school, this is a free speech issue. Now, I I'm told by people that freedom of speech is a very important issue, but yet I haven't seen many people talk about this. Have you seen anyone talk about this? Not many people seem to care or even know that this is happening. Nobody's talking about this. This is a massive free speech issue. They're literally trying to ban mention of the existence of gay people in school. And the free speech warriors are fucking silent. Where are they? Isn't this their cup of tea? Well, of course not, you see, because freedom of speech only insofar as we allow, uh, you know, the far right to have their freedom of speech. But we don't ever want to seem a little bit too woke because then that would be bad and we can't win over the far right or right wingers in general. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll shut our mouths when it comes to actual violations of freedom of speech where the state cracks down on what you can and can't say. We'll be silent there. And we'll just focus on like Joe Rogan's freedom of speech. That 100 millionaire, he needs your support when it comes to freedom of speech. Not teachers in Florida. It's just the whole situation is frustrating. You know, um, conversations about freedom of speech online in leftist circles, they only, you know, um, are tailored to discussing whether or not deplatforming uh, person A and B is bad. When, sure, you can, you can have these conversations. But... This is huge. This is like, it cuts straight to the core of the issue. This is the government engaging in censorship. And nobody even cares. Like, what is going on? Is it just because it, if you talk about gay people in an affirming way, you're seen as too woke? I just, I want to know what goes through the brains of free speech advocates who constantly will come out, go out of their way to, you know, condemn attempts to cancel people, but then they're completely fucking silent when it comes to major free speech violations like this.